If you ask me what is the best thing that you can give someone that will surely make them happy, that's going to be food. Food is a great go-to for expressing your feelings. It is rewarding. Ideal for a great first date. Family holidays instantly changes your mood and can fulfill a day's worth of cravings. Let's face it, food is a part of our everyday lives. We eat it, dream about it, and we spend our money on it. And well, at the end of the day, you'll realize that food is all we need. My name is Mike Acosta. I'm an IT student from FEU Tech or FEU Institute of Technology. And my passion is cooking. As a matter of fact, our family owns a small eatery that caters the needs of our local community. Every day I help in any way that I can in our eatery. Things are easily said. The daily mission is to go get the ingredients, cook the food, and serve it to your customer. Sounds simple, but actually, there's a lot more to that. And you have to remember, this eatery is a business and applying the often overlooked concept of economics and running a business is a must. First and foremost, we need to get the ingredients. That means waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning. As early as 4 a.m., we are working. To bring out the best in your food, you need the best ingredients. This includes the pork, beef, chicken, and vegetables. Basically everything. The application of math here is pretty simple. After all, we're Filipinos. If you want something good, you need to haggle to get it for your own business. You want everything to be fresh as possible because all of these are essential for the meal you're preparing. Once things are okay, we can finally go home and the interesting as well as the busiest part of the day starts. As someone who enjoys food, all of us enjoy the taste of food, the smell, and also the flavor. And as a business, you need to make sure that you're going to make your customers come back for more. But of course, you need to apply some basic mathematics to your food. Simply following the instructions of cooking is already a good idea of how things work. Consider it the perfect formula for the perfect meal. Over the years, Applying simple concepts of mathematics and even science has allowed me to realize as a simple cook that we are already putting these concepts into action without us realizing. And I think that's one of the best form of learning. When we finally appreciate it in our lives once we put enough effort to recognize all of it, the way we handle money, how we calculate and feel things while we're cooking, the temperature, the time to flip something, the way we cut and mold things, how we combine things and turn it perfect. What's the most common phrase you'd hear from someone when you want to learn something? Do the math. That is something. And so, another day ends. Stomachs are filled. Smiles are put in the faces of people and the shop finally closes. What's left are cleaning the dishes and preparing again for tomorrow. And for me, that's the art of running an eater business and the art of cooking. <laughs>